Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to share my experience with the Chaos Ultimate Builder's Kit made by Sigeli after I've beat the hell out of it for three weeks. All right, so we've got the Chaos Ultimate Builders Kit here by Sigeli. Let's dive in and take a look. Here is the contents of the Chaos Ultimate Builders Kit made by Sigeli. Everything in here is um, cut out for you. There's a lot in this kit. Let's start up here. We have two pairs of tweezers. They are actually a metal, a non-conductive metal, and they have this like glossy kind of coating on them. It's kind of slick. When you're trying to press your coils, they have the tendency to kind of slip off. These are almost the equivalent of those cotton, like really sharp angled tweezers that coil master has these are handy for all kinds of different things those of you guys that like to do the fluffy cotton these are going to be definitely very helpful for you the metal tips will be a little bit more resilient i don't think they will break as easily as ceramic will and if you're really hard up about it these are detachable and replaceable, so you can put your ceramic ones in there if you'd like. These have worked pretty well for me, other than the fact that they kind of slip off a little bit. So they're not my favorite, but they do serve their purpose. These are different Phillips and flathead. There's also Torx and how this works. Pretty, pretty simple. You unscrew this metal piece here from the handle and this whole thing comes out and you can see that there's a notch there and that goes in the notch corresponding in the handle. The handle uh, feels kind of cheap. It's a cheap plastic. I'm not a huge fan of this tool. It's handy, but then again, you have to unscrew this, find the right size, put it together. And then if you're using different sizes, you've got to go back and unscrew it, put it back together. If you push these ones all the way in, they're very difficult to get out. So I leave the top piece enough so I can grab it with my nail. Up here, we have the coil builders tool. This is a really handy tool. It has all your different inner diameters on one tool. It's really handy for you know putting your coil on here and inserting it into your atomizer or whatever it is. There's a million uses for these. 1.52, 2.53, 3.5. I've used this quite a bit. I'm a big fan of these tools. The scissors in the kit are pretty com uh, comparable to other ones that I've seen in other kits. However, these feel like a little bit better quality. They're not as rigid uh, closing them and opening them as some of the scissors in other kits. I've had to like struggle with scissors and other kits trying to get these together and they just didn't feel smooth. These feel uh, like a better quality. They're, they seem a little bit sharper. As far as fold out scissors go, I'm a big fan of these ones. If you use them only for your cotton. They should last um, a, a, a fairly long time. This guy is a nail clipper. So when you're about to film your build videos, you can kind of, you know, trim up your nails a little bit and get your fingers all looking nice so your viewers aren't disgusted of, about your nails. Now, actually what this is intended for, I'm assuming for when you have um, coils and you're like trying to snip leads so you can get at them in there with an at an angle. I found this tool to be almost useless. It, it, the cutting strength of it is pretty dismal. Here's a piece of 28 gauge. It'll cut the 28 gauge fine when you get into things like 24, even 26. It really struggles. See, I'm at the tip of it trying to cut 28 gauge and I can't even... Oh, there we go. So they work sometimes, but as far as using these to cut your alien clapton's or anything more than a round wire build, I wouldn't count on these, but they are good for getting into small spots with a smaller, with a higher gauge wire. So these guys are pretty self-explanatory. They are just different Allen. Ugh. 
different Allen keys. I don't know the exact size. They're well built. On the bottom of each of these, the ball and bobbers here on the bottom ends of these work really well if you have a semi-stripped Allen grub screw or a Torx head. These just work really well getting in there, preventing them from stripping, or if you have a stripped one, they really give you a little bit of assistance uh, getting things tightened down. I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments if I am wrong about their intended purpose and what they're called. But I'm 90% sure they're called Balama Jiggers. We have a coil jig. The bits are very well polished and machined. They're nice. They feel like a solid quality. The rubber is pretty much the same as every other coil jig that I've seen. And the tool is as well. These are just like an aluminum or something. You know, the threading's not that great. They feel kind of cheap. But they... Oh, hear that? You see the threading there. But it's a coil jig. Again, these are, to me, utterly useless unless you're doing really basic builds. Maybe some Clapton's or some round wire builds. They don't work on anything more exotic. They'll either damage the wire or uh, twist it all janky on you. I recently found out, see, these are like impossible to get out there. Uh, that is actually adjustable. Oh, one thing I love about this one, as opposed to other jig kits, there is no knurling on the, um, the Rollama bobber. This guy that actually puts tension on the coil to spin it as you're doing one of these guys. This one has no knurling. So that's one major plus for this coil jig. With the little screwdriver that's in here, you can unscrew the Rollama bobber and put it in that side and that will give you more distance. I'm not a big fan of these. I am a big fan of taking whatever millimeter inner diameter I need, popping it on this and using this to spin my, my builds without this piece. We have another pair of ceramic tweezers. These ones are actually ceramic. And I always kind of made fun of these. Like I just thought they looked kind of dorky and I just never saw the point and I didn't understand why this looked like this. But I've actually really enjoyed using these. Uh, they're not like a great space, like they don't have a lot of space in between the two, but they're, they're, they have enough give that it's, it's not very difficult to, uh, to get them to the length that you need. What's great about this round thing, this is its intended purpose. Take your atomizer off. And that's what that, that loopy guy is for. But I've, I've liked this. It's small, it's compact, it's easy to use. Uh, I, I was surprised at how much I like this. These are uh, rounded tip tweezers, but the inside edges are flattened off, so it does make a nice flat connection. This kit does come with a four bay battery case. It's a nice thick plastic. It's got a nice uh, grabby clasp on the end here, and it actually has... Uh, a little metal hanger guy. So that's kind of cool. I really like that they included this. It's a nice safety feature. I'm all about the safety. It's just great. I'm really, really impressed that they included this. There is a little container. You could use this to put cotton in to put your spent coils in. It's just a little container. There is a cutout here on this side and I'm assuming that was for like maybe a spool, a small spool you can stick in there, I'm not sure. We have our wire cutters. They have a weird click when you uh, touch them together and then put pressure. It's a weird click. And if you can see right there on the blades where I've cut bigger wire, it's actually like made indents into the blades. Now they're this weird like frosted aluminum kind of looking uh, metal. They look cheap. They kind of feel a little cheap. The The spring on them isn't the best. Like I, I kind of need them to like open a little bit wider. I've been using them for about two and a half, three weeks now and I build all day every day so I've definitely put some wear and tear on them. They've served their purpose but there's just something about this design that I just don't like. I just don't like the way these feel in my hand. Last but not least we have the pair of pliers and I actually really like this pair of pliers. It's really solid quality. This isn't a, it's more of like a, a foamy kind of very grippy uh, surface rather than a, a plastic. It's uh, very, very grippy. It feels really good. It's got a nice spring, a nice wide open, wide open jaw here. We do have a flat part, a toothed part, and a wire cutter. 
and the wire cutter is really nice and sharp. So I do like these pliers quite a bit. It's a really nice pair of standard pliers. So that's what they call the ultimate build kit. This kit is $50. Let's start off with what doesn't come in the box and that's a resistance or ohm reader. For the ultimate build kit, you don't include an ohm reader? Come on, Sigeli. You really can't claim to have the ultimate build kit when you don't have one of the most important parts for building safely. Major con right there. I love that they include a coil tool. Not many kids do. You have to usually buy these separate. The uh, toenail clippers, I'm uh, on the fence on. I haven't had the best luck with them. I've never found myself saying, oh, hey, I wish I had a weird shaped pair of toenail clippers to clip this lead. So with the jig kit, I, I haven't been able to spin any of my really, really exotic coils with it, with the, uh, the turner bob. I have to do those by hand. If you want to check those coils out, I do have some for purchase on my website, SherlockHolmes.com. If you'd like to see pictures of them, you could check out my Instagram, at Sherlock Holmes. With this kit, you're not going to be able to close this box with anything extra inside of it. Like, even if something's sticking out wrong, you're going to have a hard time closing it. So you're not going to be able to throw anything extra into here. I don't know how to feel about this kit. There's some things that I really, really like, and then there's some pretty big things that I don't like. The fact that it doesn't come with an ohm reader is a massive hurdle for me to really get behind this thing. Not big on the non-conductive tweezers, the ceramic tweezers. They're just slippery and hard to grip and actually um, pinch your coils with. There are some some things that I do like about it. That, you know, you can have your batteries and everything inside your case, which is really cool. And everything for the most part is, is really great quality. I, I wouldn't have bought this kit, just like I wouldn't have bought any other build kit. But now that I have it, I'm really happy that I do because when I travel and stuff like that, this is going to be exceptionally handy. I think this is going to be great for people who are just starting out or for people who want to pick up a travel kit. It does have 99% of everything that you're going to want or need. There are some pretty awesome things about this kit. The hard case is fantastic with the, with the clips. It's a really solid, sturdy plastic. So this isn't going to go anywhere. It's a little bit bigger than other kits on the market, but it, it has more stuff inside of it. You could shake this thing and nothing is going to move at all. So it's really sturdy. It's really well built for the most part. I do recommend it. That's not to say I recommend it over any other product. That's for a different video. But my overall thoughts on this is I, I, I like it and I do recommend it. I'm not going to say yet whether I recommend it over a different kit or not. They have different benefits. So what I would recommend if you're in the market for a build kit, go to your local shop if they have both of them and compare them side to side against your needs. It's about 10 by 7 inches so it's a decent size but it's still small enough that it's very portable you can stick it up on a shelf somewhere easy out of the way great for people who don't have designated build areas or people who travel a lot it, it is a great kit definitely stay tuned for the comparison video between this and the coil master v3 build kit so if you're not already definitely subscribe and hit the bell button that'll just make sure that you get all my notifications when i go live post new build videos or reviews i will be giving away a build kit over on my patreon it's a great way to help me keep the lights on and earn some cool rewards in the process. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Sherlock Holmes, and I'll see you in the next video.